My friends, before I get into the video, I want to show you this new knife I've been carrying lately. Super excited about it. Made by Tecto Knives called the A5 Spry. 3.5 inch blade. It's available with three different blade types. This is called the Tonto. Very strong steel with this aluminum handle and OD green serrations throughout. It's also available in black. It has the glass breaker right there strong deployment the button there is serrated for both the deployment and the retraction love this auto blade it's very light carries well has a strong belt clip check them out at tectonides.com hey there friends thanks for checking in and welcome to the third video of my new series called is this pistol relevant and it has become a series a lot of people seem to enjoy it so we're going to keep it going what did i feature last week well bond arms double barrel derringers were featured a lot of people Bond. let's just say bond arms has a huge following people love these you could change out the barrels this one is in 357 magnum 38 special you could change out the barrels Offers quite a bit, single action, but it's a two-shot. And the comments I received back were, a great collector's item, nice little backup, but it's not as relevant considering that there are other handguns of equal size and weight that offer greater capacity. And I understand their points, and that was the feedback that I got, by and large. But the Bond Arms people did come out as well and said, yes, that is definitely relevant i love those things and i like the adaptability of barrel changes so i could shoot many many different rounds so that was last week this week is a bit different this one might surprise you but the question we're asking is this pistol relevant and what are we talking about the browning high power this is a mark three now the the browning high power was discontinued in early of 2000 and 18 prior to that it was very well revered revered people said that that is an amazing handgun john browning's last design all steel frame 4.6 inch barrel single action and it was selling well at least the msrp was around 1100 for this model and they had two models available and they they were very expensive but i don't think they sold very well because it kind of dated itself some of the newer handguns for much less money were being purchased and browning discontinued this but what we did not know at that time was how many copies would be out there and here's an example here's a springfield sa35 they kept it pretty original if you look at the internals i showed that in my table review the internals are pretty identical but they made it a a more user-friendly handgun because they have 15 round magazines they got rid of the magazine disconnect and they lightened the trigger pull which was one of the greatest issues with the high power the single action trigger is very heavy with the original and springfield lightened it a bit and they made they make made a real nice gun here and we also see copies made by FN and Gearson, maybe another one by now. But with the addition of these handguns that are now available, the question remains, is this one here, an original Browning High Power, still relevant? When they discontinued it, this handgun right here, the one that I own, raised in price, at least on the used market, quite a bit. Because you couldn't get them anymore and people were paying a lot to get an original browning high power i don't know where it stands now because of the copies is this still relevant is it still something that people are seeking after do they want the original browning design or are they fine with some of the copies out there which springfield gearson fn did an incredible job they they, they did very well some are over a grand especially the fn's but they have them optic ready. They made the trigger better. They increased the capacity. The original high power has a 10 round capacity. And that's what this magazine is there. I don't know if you can see that. It's etched in 10 rounds. And so you got 10 rounds versus 15 rounds. You have a, a, a nice wood grip there, which is original to the 
high power, by the way. 15 round mag, they, they got rid of the magazine disconnect. They made it user friendly. They put a ring hammer on there opposed to a spurred hammer, which people would complain about getting hammer bite. So you look at this Browning high power and you say, it's a collector's piece. It has value. It's very accurate. It's a nice shooting handgun. Offers a lot, but is it still relevant considering that there are so many out there of the same quality and, and nature, basically, the, the, the same nature that this was made so popular by? And uh, that's the great question today because I tell you what, I loved enjoying this. I really did, but... I'm wondering what the viewers of this channel think because it's a fine handgun, but it's not awesome. And they kept it uh, original with the heavy trigger pull, magazine disconnect and everything. Simple takedown yet. There are so many copies out there. That is the question I am wondering. And I look forward to your feedback. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.